So a couple videos ago I had mentioned that I had been getting a new car and I actually got that car last night at about 9 at night. Super dark, super cold out, really haven't even taken a really good look at it as I'm able to today. This is like the first time I've actually seen it in the daylight. Uh, I never even went to go check it out before I bought it. I actually got it from a friend. Uh, a few of you thought it was a WRA. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do so. I showed, I made a little story, you know, Snapchat story, whatever, Instagram story about this thing coming in. I, I didn't show it, but, you know, you guys would have heard it coming in. A lot of people were thinking, hey, it's a WRX, it's a Subaru, this and that. But let's turn the camera around, and I'll show you guys what we got. So what we have here is a 1991 Nissan 240SX Coupe. Uh, I've never owned a coupe. I've owned six hatches, never owned a coupe. Uh, this is my first. Um, first off, let me just start by saying I got an incredible deal on this. And I know I always say I get, I get incredible deals, but believe me when I tell you, I bought that shell in there for $100. This one wasn't that much off. And this runs and drives, has no issues mechanically besides one little thing which I will tell you. But I should be able to fix that absolutely no problem. If I start talking quick in this video, that's my bad because it is absolutely freezing. So I'm actually trying to try and get this video done as soon as possible. Uh, as quick as possible, should I say. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna go for a quick look around. This is basically a first look for you and me. Like I told you guys, I didn't get to really take a look at this thing last night. Well, I, I saw it obviously, but I wasn't able to take a really good look at it. It was pitch black out. Uh, but exterior, obviously, first off, you know, let's just start from the outside, work our way in. Paint, um, it's not good. It's not, uh, it's just really faded, really scratched up, as you guys can probably tell. Uh, unfortunately, it's not too sunny out today, which is kind of a good thing and kind of a bad thing. Um, so you can't really tell too much of the paint. I have not even washed it. Maybe a wash may help it out just a, just a touch. But, um, you know, rust-wise on the outside, super clean. Like nothing, I have not seen anything yet on the outside that I can visibly see uh, rust wise, except for this right here. Not really sure what's going on there. Looks like someone either body filled it or definitely looks like body filler. And then um, this trunk here, I guess there was, my buddy had a, like a rocket bunny wing or like a big wing on it or something like that. So he took that off. I don't know if this Bondo goes all the way back. It might, um, I think there used to be a, a factory spoiler in here, so. We'll have to redo that completely. Um, you know, we have a rear bumper for it. I'm actually getting rid of these exhausts, a little bit too flamboyant for me. And to be honest, for this thing, I'll tell you guys what the whole plan was in a second, but I don't want it to be very loud, uh, probably as quiet as possible. Um, so those are definitely gonna go. I think I'm just gonna sell them back to the guy who I bought it, the car from. Yeah, I mean, you guys can kind of see what's going on with it. Obviously, we'll, you'll see a little bit more in depth as, as we start kind of diving in on this thing and working on it. No idea what these wheels are. Excel wheels. Uh, not too big of a fan of them, to be honest. If any of you guys are local, you know, I'll sell them to you for cheap. Uh, the rear tires, I, this one looks decent, I guess. The fronts are, at least the passenger front's pretty shot. But paint-wise, I, you know, will, I really want to paint it eventually. Um, there's rust-wise underneath. There's just a couple spots on the floor. Let me take you into this beautiful machine. For some reason, I don't know why, but why do 240 owners always just make a mess out of stuff? I'm not saying my buddy did because he only owned it for, you know, a short amount of time. But, like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, once I pop the hood, you guys will see what is going on. And, like, I just question, like, what is the motive behind these people? So, as you guys can see, we have the super, super fruity, you know, nice seat covers. Nice thing is I'll be able to take these seats out, put my OEM ones that were... And this, geez, it's like, it's like a 240 garage. One, two, three, two, four. All right. So yeah, like I said, we'll put those seats in here because I believe these are a little bit blown out. And, um, you know, not even, not even bolted in. That driver's seat is literally not bolted in. Um, we have back seats. We have no headliner 
automatic sunroof, which is uh, pretty pretty cool. Um, the dash, it's got a got a few cracks in it. You know what I mean? Um, I do have a mint dash thinking about putting it in here. We'll see about that. Um, that's a little bit of a bigger job. I, not really too big, but you know, I don't know if I want to do that right now. Um, steering wheel, that's got to go. Shifter, that's got to go. Uh, I need obviously some trim panels, looks like. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I have some stuff, but not everything, that's for sure. Um, the door panels, you know, they're, oh boy, a little bit blown out there. Didn't even notice that. Um, it's not even on. So, we'll have to figure that out. Someone did a pretty sweet speaker job there. See, there's a hole right there, but that that's like a factory grommet, I think. And we're just missing the grommet, but I'll probably just patch that up. Um, right there, someone you can see already did a bit of, you know, their own just fine dandy work. And then, um, let's see what we got in the back here. Okay. All right. A bit of uh, automotive archaeology, if you guys know what I mean. Oh, man, we could... See, this is the problem. With having only one hand, this is just... What's this? NSX something? Sentra. That, okay, that's going in the garbage. Plug wires, I think these are brand new. Um, and Excel plug wires, sure, I didn't know I had... Oh, look at that. We got that, we'll put that on. Uh, got a nice tool and some needle nose pliers. Oh, look at that. A bit of a curved tip to them. Some like homework or something. Oh, this, was just, this was recently, how to get so dirty already. Oh, we have 15 cents right here. If I, told, if I tell you guys what I paid for, you might get mad at me. Just because... Uh, for some reason, I I tend to luck out with these deals. Uh, this this door it like doesn't open. The tint, as you guys can see, is just super nice. You know, well done on their part. Super good fit. Uh, really good. We've got a couple gauges here. What do we got? We got a volt gauge, and we also have an oil pressure, which doesn't work. No carpet, obviously. Oh, check this out. Hang on. Check this out. So. That's a safe, that is um, FIA approved right there. That is a racing seat. Um, let's see. Some random wire. Probably a sub in here. Um, we got our trunk latch, but it doesn't work. So I have to figure out why that doesn't work. The kid never even got in the damn trunk. So he always had to climb through the back and this and that. What, like, look at how dirty these are. That's back seats, decent. You know, missing some trim, missing some things here and there. But overall, I mean, she needs work, like I said. I knew that coming in. Oh, check out the cluster. It's got like the NX or whatever, like the, the digital, I forgot the name for it, but uh, digital cluster is pretty cool. Never had one of those before. Um, this steering wheel sucks. Not, I mean, it's a Grant steering wheel, actually, now that I think about it, it's Grant. So that's actually a good steering wheel. Um, if any of you guys are interested in this wheel, let me know. I will sell it to you. But yeah, I mean, you guys can kind of see. Like, I see that. Like, it doesn't it doesn't shut. I'll have to figure out what's going on here. Now, uh, I guess. Oh, I guess I'll uh, open the hood for you here. Now, the the only problem is, I uh, I'm probably just gonna start working on it. You know, you know what I'm saying, like off camera. Um, just because, you know, I really just want to start getting this thing on the road as soon as possible. Uh, it really would be nice if I had a... Hang on a second. If I had a cameraman, that would make things so much easier. Um, head cam, you know, that works. If you guys want to see head cam footage, I mean, let me know. Um, it's just going to be, you know, me doing whatever I'm doing. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the next video. I will definitely have some head cam footage for you all. This video is probably going to be long enough as far as just going over the whole car, so probably not the best video for it. But yes, we have a bit of KA power again, a bit of truck motor power back in our lives. Uh, I, I have owned, my first 240 had a dual cam, my second one had a single cam, and then I went RB and then never looked back. So here we have a KA again, runs absolutely mint. Like when I tell you mint, it runs really good. Just has a high idle issue because this was previously an automatic. Uh, someone then swapped it to manual and they're still actually running the automatic ECU, which apparently is, you know, it, if you run a manual ECU that's supposed to bring the idle back down, 
Um, if you guys are, you know, have any knowledge of that, let me know. But yeah, that's what that's what my buddy told me. He says that if you put a manual transmission or manual ECU into it, it should uh, sort out all of the idle problems. Hey, damn geese! I don't know if you guys could hear those guys, but man, they're loud. I really want this thing to just be super clean, super, I guess, stock-ish uh, for now. Like I said, for now, um, you know, as far as motor. Just want it running really nice. I want to clean it up a little bit. But as far as um, you know, how it runs, runs really good. The motor, I believe, has like 120,000 on it. AC works absolutely cherry, as you guys can see. Still got our line in there. Um, got our pretty crazy. Uh, let's see how dirty this coolant is. Um, okay, there is no coolant. But I mean, yeah, you know, I just really wanted to get you guys kind of in the loop with this whole new car of mine. Uh, strut towers, you know what I mean? I mean, they're a little bit, a uh, little bit messed up. But like I said, guys, all this stuff, all rust wise, I'll be able to take it to my, you know, take it to my work, take it to the shop and just fix her up. Absolutely perfect. Underneath, it's actually incredibly clean. I want to get the interior nice and complete. I want it to be a nice place to be. It rides absolutely cherry. It has just, I think, factory struts. I think the, the rear might be blown or something like that. The battery is shot. So, I mean, yeah, you know, in a nutshell, that's that's pretty much her. I'm uh, pretty, pretty psyched on it. Like I said, it needs definitely some love, but that's definitely what I'm willing to give her. Um, like I said, this is just for the deal. I could not pass it up. And I know I'm repeating myself, but trust me, like, you guys look at this now and might be like, well, you know, it's, it's your average 240. Yes, but... The potential is there to make it absolutely gleaming. Um, as far as paint, could you guys imagine this with like a fresh coat of paint and some nice wheels? Like this car would look absolutely awesome. I love the way coupes look all cleaned up. Um, the rear tail lights, you know, broken on the sides. I have some ideas to like what to do with this thing in the winter time. I'm gonna get to work. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We have ourselves a coupe, never owned one before need some parts if you guys are wondering about the old budget build that's literally on standby because i just cannot find parts for it what i've come to realize is i need a whole parts car to complete this car so until i find that for a decent price locally in my area that's going to be chilling for now this guy just runs like an absolute dream um still haven't gotten the full full boost tune i mean we're on 10 psi it it moves like it moves like last year i made 250 to the wheels with my stock rb setup uh this year with the big turbo and stuff like that i mean it's i'm only on 10 pounds last year i was on 12 or 13 and this this pull is just so much harder already so uh, definitely stay tuned for you know videos of this thing to come in the near future obviously videos to come on this thing and that one you know when we're ready we just got snow this morning which sucked Luckily, it didn't salt the roads, but uh, yeah, snow was not a cool thing to see yet. I'm um, definitely not ready for it, but we have the car for it, even though you guys are probably like, oh, a 240 is not a winter car. I drove a hatch, 240 hatch. It's actually black, believe it or not, in the wintertime. Regular tires up front, snowies in the rear. It wasn't great. I probably would change a couple things to it. Needed some more weight in the back front definitely needed some snow tires so you know we're on the lookout if you guys would have seen my seat install video on the main 240 here you would have seen that at the end i had mentioned this company called throttle they're an online marketplace where they basically collaborate 194 websites forums different websites where you sell car par car parts excuse me all into one place so it's a mecca for like automotive enthusiasts if you're looking for parts you can classify it by brand whatever it's amazing wheels out the you know it's just so many wheels it's awesome they actually funny enough got in touch with me after seeing that video and they want to actually kind of do a little partner up thing so basically if you guys want to join and sign it's free to sign up link is in the description below to make an account and you can post and, and buy and stuff like that they also have little upgraded membership packages which allow you to get your ads higher up in the listings you can post more uh, there's just a lot of stuff that is it's all shown on the website you guys can all check that out for yourself, but definitely check them out. They're awesome guys over there. Surprisingly, they're actually local. They were local. They grew up not too far from where I live. Now they're in California, but yeah, they saw that. They thought it was awesome. I, you know, I'm, I'm always down to support people who are doing awesome stuff. And I never heard of Throttle before, but this place, if you're looking for car parts, guys, if you're trying to sell something, like I said, they collaborate 194 websites, forums, all into one page. Instead of scrolling through tens, 20, you know, 10, 20 different pages to find one part you're looking for, it's all going to show up 
on one page. So definitely check them out, link in the description. Also, I know that probably 95, 99% of my viewers are guys, but I wanna help out my little cousin. She actually started out her own blog. Um, so basically for any of you guys out there that have sisters, girlfriends, if you guys wanna follow a blog based on fashion, you know, makeup. So if you guys wanna check that out, also link will be in the description, like I said. Probably guys, not too much, but I wanna help her see if she can get just, you know, anyone just coming to her blog it would be really cool. It would be cool to see her succeed in this kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, like I said, sisters, girlfriends, let them know, you know what I mean? It's starting to rain, so I'm probably going to jump inside. But uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are excited. Um, I certainly am. This is going to be a fun project. It's going to be a fun car. Might even turn into a pretty serious build over the spring. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep it in the long run. We'll see. You know, things always pop up. But uh, you know, for now, I'm really excited. Time to get down to work, fix her up, make her nice and cherry for you guys. Hopefully you guys are all there with me for the journey. I'm blabbering. Stay tuned, subscribe. Got three 240s now. A lot of stuff to do, a lot of content to be made, but obviously the days are getting a little bit shorter now, so uh, daylight is a little bit harder to find, so I'm probably gonna have to wait till the weekends. But uh, regardless, like I said, content is here. Definitely make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, please, that would be awesome. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. And yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty pretty damn excited for this thing.